something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all how could i know there was no second chances like dominoes my life got really scattered you hello everybody it's michelle patterson here with angel souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning october 12th 2020. So if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I have courses at Gumroad. It's gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. All that information is down below. Now I did start the auto write over because where it was going, you know, the, the path that was going down, I wasn't really clear on what we were talking about. So I just kind of had to get, you know, refocused and I started again. But where we started to go with the first auto right was a resurgence. Now, I've been saying for a while now, I don't think this is it. I think we have another, maybe another wave. Uh, but I've also had this weird feeling, I could be wrong, but I've had this feeling that, I don't know if it's something that's mutated or it's another wave of something due to a treatment or something else. It feels like something, it feels like another, like something we've experienced before. I have to be careful what I say here. I just have to. Um, and I'm under like <laughs> double caution here because YouTube came from my channel for no reason. And you know what I'm saying? Like I have to be careful. But anyway, uh, it feels like there's another thing that we've dealt with years ago coming back around and now that on top of everything else again I could be wrong about this but that on top of everything else really sends people into a scramble however this is interesting because I don't know hopefully we've gotten wiser about having to get our things and hoard and you know we'll see if anybody's learned anything from that but whatever so I just wanted to offer that before we jumped in here so this says you will resist you're not going to like what's coming, right? Because, um, it, it, again, it's more control. It's more, and it's not, it's, again, it's not control just in the way that you think by big companies, although that's happening, and by, like, government and stuff like that. Yes, that's all in place. But it's us controlling one another. I believe you should be doing it this way. And intimidation, yes. So there's a lot of manipulation and people trying to intimidate one another. It's a uh, soul level kind of battle that's happening here. And we can get through, as we've been saying for many weeks, just recognizing it and, and taking care of ourselves. Again, it's these messages are not going to be glamorous every week, okay? I mean... It's going to, there's going to be a through line. There are going to be things that are going to take a long time to unfold and there are going to be, be these patterns coming up, but it does feel like things are just kind of like one thing after another. And so that continues. All right. So you will resist. All will resist. The egos are cracked and in need of repair. What can you do? You make the most of life because this puts you into a state of joy. Now, I, you know, it might, depending on what's going on, you might not be able to like be doing cartwheels or something like that, but you can make the best of what is, all right? Be resourceful. Fall in love with your resourcefulness, you know, and that's taking pleasure and like, oh, look at that. I figured it out. I couldn't buy a uh, disinfectant spray. I made my own and I was like, look at that. I know how to do things. <laughs> science right all right <laughs> no things are not ever going to be how you want them that's important because what you want is from a limited perspective there is the ego death and it will groan and protest but another functioning is to be born uh, it is an upgrade as you say but some will not benefit 
and will long for the past. These are the people who refuse to grow. They have no feelings. They can't grow. That's the other thing too. Other thing too. We need to not be uh, wasting our energy trying to get people to feel when they've already made a very firm decision that they're going to shut that part of them down. Okay. You know, I, I believe in redemption as much as possible, but it's up to them. You know what I mean? All right. It is an upgrade, but some will not benefit and will long for the past. Keep ahead and keep in the light. Being balanced, of course. There's darkness and it is panicking. Let it. We will handle it with all love. So, you know, a huge reminder that we are not alone in this. We do not need to be scrambling around. We do not need to be afraid of um, the events that are happening. And as I say that, I feel like someone's going to eventually, or we're all going to be able to say, like, how could you say that? Because look at, look at what's going on. And I know, I understand. But please remember, we are supported. We have a support team around us, watching out for us, okay? We're gonna be all right. And when things are rumbling, center into your heart, balance between the intellect and the heart wisdom, radiate that light out, bring in the Christ consciousness, let that Christ light energy come through you, align you, balance you out. This is very Archangel Raziel kind of energy too, and Sandalfin, and Sandalfin kind of bringing us into alignment and um, letting us be reset. It's time to reset. What do I do with the cards? Oh, <laughs> I moved them over here. <laughs> so let's get some cards going here. You know, I didn't even think to put up my Halloween decorations. It's just, I don't know, everything's just kind of so messed up this year. I never even thought about it. But I will for the sake of my sister. She loves Halloween. <laughs> that is her thing. All right. I feel like there's a heaviness around um, us coming into the holiday season because things aren't normal and things are scary and I don't know. Like even Halloween, for example, I don't know that people are going to be so into it this year, right? Or you'll have those people who are trying to rebel and they're going to force a party. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. <laughs> this is your chance to get innovative. As a matter of fact, maybe what I will do is decorate and maybe put some effort into it and uh, then FaceTime my nephew and you know what I mean? Like we can do stuff like that, have our own little like remote Halloween party or something. All right. Oh, I love this. Uh, Chris Acola, start fresh, start fresh. So this is that sort of thing where it's like, nope, nope. The, th the things that need to go away, they are cracking and falling down. I don't know why I feel the need to share this with you guys, but I maybe shared this example with you before. I don't know where they're going with this, but I'll just tell you. So I met these people and um you know i was getting to know them becoming friends with them and then i had this thing that i had to do for you guys and i was like no i i have this set aside this is planned i gotta i gotta show up for this and i was really stressed about everything not stressed but just like really focusing on i gotta make sure the camera's right how are, how are the lights is everything working is everything functioning and the, I remember this person said, the guy said to me, why are you taking this so seriously? Is there a lot of money on the line? And the fact of the matter was that there was no money involved. It was because I, I have a community here and I'm, I'm a content creator and that's what I do. And I care about it very, very deeply. And I was so stunned by him saying that. And I said, there's no money involved at all. And he goes, why are you even doing it? And he meant it. Like that was the only thing that meant. Unless he was motivated by money, he didn't put energy into anything. And I don't know why I feel the need to bring that up. Maybe, I don't know how, what that has to do with starting fresh. Except 
to end that story, I don't talk to those people anymore. <laughs> right? But I noticed, I was like, wow, um, I exited that situation a lot sooner this time than I normally would have. Normally I would have been like, oh, well, that's just how some people are. Just, I want to be a good person and be accepting. And I would have ignored my instincts and just stayed friends with somebody who I'm not on the same page with. And it's okay. You know, it doesn't mean anything. So sometimes I think we have to uh, make our exit. There you go. Make your exit with certain situations <laughs> and start fresh. Okay. Sorry, my finger's covering that. I don't think you can see it anyway. These are not YouTuber friendly cards. They're glossy. The writing on there is like, you can barely see it, but you can see the crystal and that's beautiful. Um, but yeah, when, when you see that you are up against something, not necessarily, well, it did turn out that these people were incredibly toxic. But just from that example alone, I didn't think of them as toxic. I just knew like we're not on the same page. So it's okay to walk away from things. It's okay to end something that's not working. Now, don't y'all go run off and get in divorces and then blame me. I'm not saying that, okay? But <laughs> it's okay to give yourself a chance and a fresh, kind of put this over here somewhere and it keeps sliding, to give yourself that fresh chance. All right, so let's get <laughs> the next card. More money things. Okay, uh, pyrite, let the money flow in. So this, okay, the example was about money. Ah, isn't that weird how that worked? Because I had no idea why I was supposed to tell you that story. Here's why. That person was merely focused on money. But in order to let money flow in, we have to change our mindset around it. That money is that thing that comes by taking your work seriously and loving it and being engaged in your heart. And then the money is a byproduct of that. And I'll tell you, the person who said that to me claimed to be wealthy. I don't know that he actually was. He claimed to be. You know how people can be. Uh, <laughs> but I can tell you he was miserable. He was a miserable, miserable person. Not in love with much in his life. It was all about the money. So if you're going to let the money flow in, you have to have a fresh start with how you see it. Okay. Not everything has to be uh, like the money is the goal, right? Let it be the reverse. The project itself is the goal and the money follows. Let the money flow in from what you love. Then we have Rhodonite, find a way to forgive. Okay. So this is really recovering in our hearts. We're finally going, you know what? I have to just... I have to decompress. I have to um, look at my patterns, take accountability, forgive those who have wronged you because they are functioning from a distorted place, a very distorted place. And when you give yourself the chance to heal, what a gift. And that's what it is. Tune into it for you. And again, it goes along with starting fresh. Uh, and for some of you, by forgiving, this releases your money blocks. So I'm thinking of the example of if you don't feel appreciated at work. Or you see other people who are doing a quarter of what you're doing, but they're getting all the rewards. Forgive that situation. Open up to the universe and say, all right, that was for them. What's for me? How would you like me to show up in this world? Let's work something out here. Right? Because it's not for the universe to tell you how to live, right? The universe is responding to how you want to live and how you want to co-create your microcosm, your life. How do you want to design it? So if something's not working out or maybe it has gone beyond its expiration date as well. And if you out there stay at jobs too long, <laughs> right? I know the feeling. How many did we pull so far? Three. Um, I know the feeling. So might be time to consider something new. All right. Oh, so we have, we had, that was, this is rhodochrosite. That was rhodonite, rhodonite, rhodochrosite. Remember your worth. Oh, wow. So you are sort of self-correcting here. You are correcting, um, some toxic, toxic messaging that has been drilled into you. And also the conditioning that you have to do this with your life or it's not worth anything. Okay, so 
give yourself this chance. A lot of love crystals, rhodonite and rhodochrosite are both love crystals. Okay, let's get a color card. Harmony, peace, grace, beauty. Focus on that. One more shuffle. There it is. Tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. The number is 17. So this is also very, this is sacral chakra. This is all about igniting that creativity. Again, that resourcefulness. Um, getting creative and having fun with the idea of dreaming up a new life like where can you really go from here what can you create what inspires you you've heard this one before follow your inspiration because that's your soul talking to you <laughs> right and I always think that it's very important I've had this discussion with a friend who doesn't live here but lives elsewhere and we've talked about how important it is to embrace uh, your inner child and to nurture that inner child uh, and to create memories for yourself or to relive memories. Like, uh, I think I've used this example before too, but I, <laughs> don't laugh at me. When I was in grade school, when we did something good, uh, I had a teacher who would give us, what are they called, Mist Mr. Sensies or something, the scented markers. And you guys, this is like from the 80s, okay? And I <laughs> loved these markers so much and I associated it with, not just doing something good and getting, but with a very caring teacher who knew that we were going to have a, a fun time with these markers and that it would bring us a lot of joy. And she bought like, you know, a big old pack of them and we each got a certain scent and we would share them and exchange them and all that stuff. And, you know, I went out as an adult and I bought myself a pack of those markers and, and you know, I, I use them for practical things like to mark stuff and whatever. But every once in a while, I'll just kind of like get like a scent off of it. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, what grade was that? I think it was, it, I remember my teachers. It wasn't Mr. Kobe from second grade. It must have been, must have been Mrs. Margroff from third grade. <laughs> Mrs. Altenberger from fourth grade, she was not a nice person. I said it on video on the internet, she was not a nice person. She really loved being nasty to the kids, but whatever. So I think it was Mrs. Margaret. But see, like that's how much that means to me and how much something so simple connects into a memory. And I remember my, my second and third grade teachers very fondly, right? So be spontaneous and have fun. Do something for your inner child. What will make you happy? And, you know, you can always take the adult version of, you know, whatever used to make you happy as a kid. SpaghettiOs used to make me happy as a kid. Try eating those now. Ugh. <laughs> no, um, but, but maybe I can make a nice meal that is <laughs> pasta and tomatoes and you know what I mean? Like make it, make it real food. I don't know. Just something along those lines, but have fun, engage that sacral chakra and allow some emotional healing to take place. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.